What's up guys and welcome back to That Chick Angel TV. It's me, Angel. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. This is my 31 week pregnancy update that my children keep interrupting. This is my second time trying to film it. What? Oh my God. I'm not sure if it's this baby that's making me exhausted or if it's my other babies making me exhausted. That is one of my big pregnancy symptoms this week is that I have been tired and not in the way like yes i go to sleep earlier now that i'm pregnant than what i would with not being pregnant but i am sleepier in the middle of the day like i'm tired right now but i realized i have not gotten you all the video up so i was like angel record the video post it immediately so i was like let me do it now oh and for those of you all who are looking at my hair like angel what is going on I'm doing uh, my, pre my maternity photo shoot this Saturday, so tomorrow. And this goes along with the theme of one of the setups. So I made this like blonde crochet wigs in crochet wig and just put some individual blonde ones up front just for this picture. It was so funny, I went to Slauson. <laughs> Slauson is a street that runs through a neighborhood that has a lot of black people in it in LA. Nobody looked at me twice when they saw this blonde hair. <laughs> they were just like, hey, it's about to be summer. Who ain't wearing bleach blonde hair? <laughs> but yes, I have been, like, I am so tired. Like, it's crazy. Um, something else that happened this week is that I had a doctor's appointment where we listened to the baby's heartbeat. Baby sounds great. I still can't even believe I'm pregnant. I can't believe I'm 31 weeks. I can't believe I only have nine weeks left. Like, Jesus, be a fence. But anyways, I had to have a conversation with my doctor that I had been meaning to have, but I kept forgetting about it. At an appointment months ago, he said, Angel, I want you to get on baby aspirin because you have a history of blood clots. Who, who, who got a history of blood clots? I ain't never had no blood clots. And so I, as I reflected on it, um, after he had said it and I had left, I was like, I know, he is he talking about when I almost bled out at the hospital due to the negligence of those nurses and I passed two large hematomas because that's not a history of blood clots. That's a history of neglect. That's what that is. So I was like, yo, I have to ask you a question. This is after we listened to the heartbeat. And I was like, you told me that I, yes, I'm talking. Stop talking when I'm talking. He was like, um, I was like, yeah, you told me that I had a history of blood clots and I should take baby aspirin. He's like, no, 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 I did not say that. He said, what I said is that I, I really like you. I was like, no, nah, yeah, I know you like me, okay? I know you don't want me to be mad at you right here up in this office, but you told me to take baby aspirin because I had a history of blood clots. So he tries to backtrack, he's looking at my file. He was like, well, when you did the genetic testing, it's, you, were, you had the genetic trait of um, some disease, I can't remember the name. And so they had my husband come in to be tested, see if he had the trait, because I don't have the disease, I just have the trait for it, the, the gene for it, I'm a carrier for it, to make sure it wasn't gonna be passed to the baby. And I even was like, do we really have to have him be tested? Because I have three kids that don't have whatever this disease is that you are afraid my child might get. So everything turned out to be fine. He was like, yeah, that was the, yeah, that was the whole thing of, I guess the disease relates to blood clots. But I was like, but if, I, if I'm if i cool and I don't have the disease, why would you recommend me take baby aspirin? Why? <laughs> it's them, it's them that are draining me. It's not this baby. So anyways, he uh, he was like, well, taking the baby aspirin wouldn't hurt you. You know, it could, you could just use it as a precaution and you, I would recommend stopping at like 37 weeks. I'm not gonna take them at all. But I say all that to say is that you have to be able and be comfortable, maybe not comfortable, but just be willing to have the sometimes uncomfortable conversations with your doctors if you think they out of pocket. Because I truly was like, what is he talking about? Like that better not be in my file. I got a history of God dang on blood clots. So he's saying it related back to the disease that I'm a carrier for. But I was like, well, listen partner, what I know better not be in my file is that I have a history of blood clots, cause I don't. Because that's the type of stuff that or get you denied for some life insurance or something down the line or some bull crap. No, that bet's not be in my file. So anyways, what else has been going on? So we're about to take our uh, pregnancy photos and I'm doing some kind of epic ideas with a girlfriend named Kendra of Kendra Photography. Is that what her, uh, I might be wrong about the name of it. I, I'll be tagging her on Instagram so you can check out the Instagram to see what all she uh, does. But um, 
we're doing it outdoors. It's gonna be really pretty. I'm getting my makeup done. The kids are getting their um, faces painted. It's gonna be really cute. I'm really, oh, speaking of which, I gotta pay the person to paint their face. So much stuff is going on. Um, I also uh, am about to be doing some more stand up. I'm doing my own, produ producing a show with my girlfriend Alicia on June 9th which I'm really excited about it. I'm hosting it. I have some really great, all it's all mom com comedian lineup that I'm so excited about. Um, we're hoping to sell it out. We're doing it at Flappers in Burbank. But prior to that, on this coming Monday, I'm headlining a show for a friend of mine, doing a 30 minute set. I haven't done a set that long in a long time. So I can't wait to see what my pregnant self does up there. <laughs> I can't wait. It's actually gonna take time for me to like actually sit down, write out my set, and remember all the jokes that I have to do. But I'm excited to be able to do stand up and act because I go back to Atypical as well um, and shoot another episode of that. I'm excited to be able to do so much all the way up until the finish line of my pregnancy. I also, I can't tell y'all where, just in case my husband decides to watch this video, I also booked where our anniversary trip is gonna be this year. So our anniversary is July 14th. This baby is due July 17th. So <laughs> we're gonna celebrate our anniversary the weekend after my birthday, which is July 3rd. We're going to celebrate our anniversary on July 6th. And we're gonna go someplace kind of local within Los Angeles, within easy, not, not within Los Angeles, within California, driving distance. I picked a location. I'm praying that it's nice. We're gonna stay, we now have it for one day. And if it's great, we might try to stay for another day. We'll see. Um, but I'm glad I'll have a little bit of a baby moon and I'll be able to sit by a pool and I'm upset that I won't be able to have a cocktail. But, you know, weeks after I'll be able to have a cocktail because the baby will be here. I cannot believe. Also, um, I started my registry finally on Amazon. It's sparse, honey. I realize I don't need nothing. Then, like, it's not that I have the stuff. It's just I don't. I realize this is my fourth child. A lot of stuff that I had, I didn't use. Like, it's just a waste of money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of this crap. The one thing that I want, that I'm trying to see if I can do a brand deal with this company, is the um, upper baby stroller set. I want that Moses basket. I want the beautiful stroller. I know the color I want. Like that is the one thing that I'm just like, I want it. But most stuff I'm getting like, I'm registering for two different bassinets, one to stay by my bed. This baby ain't even gonna have a nursery because I co-sleep. So like, what's the point? So um, a bassinet that stays in my room and another bassinet that we can use like out here, like uh, just the thing to sit the baby in when it can no longer go in the bassinet. A bunch of uh, onesies, <laughs> a diaper fund because we're not cloth diapering this time. Um, not even doing bottles. I think I, I registered for one pack. And the pacifiers, my babies used the pacifiers up until we got in the hospital, and then the pacifiers were over. My babies never used bottles, so like I'm really like doing such a sparse like registry. I'm having a baby sprinkle on June 13th, not 13th, June 23rd, June 29th, June 23rd, June 23rd. So um, yeah, it's, I'm just, this baby I'm excited about, but we're being very low key about it. Just, you know, we know that the blessing is the baby. So like all the other stuff is not, it's not big. It's not big to me. Like I don't need a bunch of mess. I just, I do want a really nice looking car seat and stroller set. That's what I want. <laughs> and the red, oh, the red and the black, ugh. Oh, that's what I want. So yeah, um, and I've started nesting some. That's the other thing. Nesting has started to take over. Once I get everything together, I'll show you all. It's not together right now. But yeah, nesting is happening, which is getting me excited about this baby coming. Ooh! Let me know in the comments below. When did you start your nesting process when you were pregnant? Was it like earlier on? Because I know with the twins, I started earlier with the nesting, but now with this one, it's kicking in. I'm like, we should move that out of there and put this. Yeah, all these projects are in my head. If I can get them done without getting tired, I'm gonna do them, but if not, oh well. Okay, according to the Ovia app, my baby is the size of a foam sports finger. 
Oh, this thing makes me laugh. Um, the skull of my baby is becoming more solidified and rigid. The baby is between three to five pounds. I have probably been experiencing Braxton Hicks contractions. I think I have actually. His immune system or her immune system is uh, ready to fight and prevent illness on its own. Uh, the baby is close to 17 and a half inches, the size of a head of lettuce and weighs over three and a half pounds and has some more to grow. Um, yes, the baby's crowding my lungs. I can't believe I forgot to mention that. Do y'all not hear me breathing all hard like I've been running? baby is crowding my lungs. I don't have, instead I might have uh, some colostrum leaking from my breast. I don't, thank God. It's been easy breezy, I'm just tired. <laughs> All right guys, let me know below. Are you, were you a nester or are you still trying to, you still trying to nest? You ain't even done none of that. I will be getting you all more videos. The podcast is coming back. A vlog or two are coming back, I promise you. I actually have edited a vlog, a vlog together. It's just missing. No, is it, it's too long. I just need to chop it up. It's too long. I edited it all together and I was like, this vlog, it's a 20 minute vlog. They don't need all this boringness. So I'm gonna chop it up some and then I'll uh, upload it. Oh my God, my husband's been calling me. Y'all got to go. Let me talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye. That chick angel. Hey. That chick angel. Hey.